debates. Everyone's aware of all this stuff. Okay, right here, Rogan knows he has one chance to turn this interview the direction that he wants it, but he knows to do it, he has to deliver this line 100% confidently and perfectly. So we're gonna watch this. I want you to look at it and tell me what you notice. There's so many things going on. If you just glance at it, you may not realize it. I want you to watch it and then I'm gonna pop back on and I'm gonna break through every single thing that Rogan is doing to be successful in turning Trump in this interview. Slowly but surely they started to disappear. We had debates, good debates. Everyone's aware of all this stuff. But what I wanna to get to is like, what was the experience once you got inside? It like, was just what did you think it was going to be like in terms of like your ability to govern? Yeah, like this is your first experience governing anything. You never been a yeah. governor. You never been a private. mayor. Yeah, right. private, private stuff. Business. So Trump rolls with it, accepts that Rogan stopped him and is pointing him in a new direction. Why? What did you notice here? Let's look at all these different things. There's so many things. This is when I saw this clip, I was like, oh man, this is such a great analysis to break down. A year. So check like this that. out. What I want to get to is like, what okay, was the. So look at his body language here. So he's doing all kinds of different things. So basically, from a 10,000 foot perspective, he is focusing every single point of his communication on Trump. He's hunkered down, he's close to the microphone, like he's talking to him. He's using his hands to communicate, and look at his eyes, look at the focus. He's not hesitating whatsoever. He has 100% confidence, and in doing so, he doesn't stutter, he doesn't slow down, he keeps going, and then he even talks over Trump when Trump tries to start, just to show how dead set he is on what he's saying. Because if he would have come in here weak, there's a good chance. Have you seen Trump talk over people? He doesn't take direction from many people. And so Rogan probably knew this, and he knew this is the first time in the interview, 12 minutes in, that he knew he had to change the tone, and change the direction, and he knew it all came down to this one point and doing it correctly. Because what would have happened if Trump wouldn't have bought this? It would have been like, you know, let, let, let me finish. You know, there were good debates and stuff like that. The entire rest of the interview could have fallen flat like a lot of the other ones that people do. Rogan knew it, he knew it was his time. He's interviewed, what, probably tens of thousands of people at this point. He's a master communicator, even though he comes across very bro-y. He's a stand-up comedian, his timing is great. I mean, he, he's one of the best to do this. And it's just so interesting to see one of the best in the world. How do they do this? But did you notice he does it in a way that is not rude whatsoever? There's no rude, like, yeah, 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 everybody knows this. Listen how he says it again. Here we had debates, good debates. Everyone's aware of all this stuff. But what I want to get to is, like, what was the experience once you got inside? It like, was just what did you think it was going to be like? Unwavering, 100% confident in what he is doing is right. Rogan knew that even with all of his celebrity and influence, that he was going to have to deliver this 100% perfectly to get a guy like Trump to take the bait, to take his lead, because Trump is so used to leading. But it's important to see, he delivered it absolutely flawlessly, and Trump did follow suit. Your goal should be when you speak to have 100% confidence in what you're saying. Does Rogan look like he's confident that he's gonna succeed in changing the subject? Does he deliver it like, uh, I, think, I think some people have heard, have heard that one before. Um, what, what, so I think some people would like to know, I mean, obviously that's a ridiculous example, but any stuttering would have gotten a different result. He delivered it perfectly. These very nuanced details, in-depth look at social communication and interaction, a lot of people seeing this will probably think, oh, it's, you know, it's way over my head, or you're, why are you looking at it so deep? It's just two guys talking, it's no big deal. So not true. Most people don't understand the importance that this has on your social status. Social status is at the root of all social communication, how people assign respect to you, how people perceive you and treat you. It's so important. That's why most people never rise to having much social status. They don't understand the granular level. You need to look at this stuff and understand this stuff at to do so. And that's what we do here at the Charisma Matrix.